In this video, I'm going to give my review and recommendation on CS425 Cloud Computing Concepts and Distributed Systems course offered in the Illinois MCS program. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student for Illinois MCS. In this channel, I share my experiences both with online learning and my career development as a software developer. Today, I'm gonna to give an overview on CS425 Cloud Computing Concepts and share some of my opinions on the course. I also provided the timestamps in the video, so feel free to jump around. All right, so first up, what's covered in CS425? Well, CS425 is a jam-packed course that's full of content, and there's tons to cover just to get a solid foundation on distributed systems and cloud computing. In the beginning of the course, you will learn the history of distributed systems and how cloud computing is the latest iteration of this paradigm. You will take a deep dive in MapReduce programming model, both the theory and its practical applications in cloud computing. Next, you will touch on the key value stores and distributed algorithms and see how they have been leveraged over time in peer-to-peer -peer systems like Napster and Torrent systems. In the back part of the course, you'll hit on some newer technologies used in cloud computing like stream processing, distributed graph processing, distributed file systems, and finally, Internet of Things sensor networks. All right, so what's the time commitment for CS425? Well, CS425 is a pretty rigorous course, but it's not the most time-consuming course I've taken thus far in the program. Like most Coursera and MCS courses, there are weekly lectures with weekly content quizzes, and each of those will probably take up a couple hours of your week. There are also two cumulative content quizzes that cover about half of the course each. They're short, but they take several hours to study for. Next up is the media course. There's two C++ programming assignments. You get provided skeleton code and a packet of instructions, but it's up to you to fill in the blanks and submit the code. These are very well designed, but plan to spend a lot of time. They're quite lengthy and somewhat complicated, so I would plan to allocate at least 20 hours per assignment. Next up, you'll have four written homework assignments. They get sprinkled out throughout the course in between weekly lectures and those programming assignments. They're quite reasonable to finish, but I would allocate anywhere between three to five hours for each of them. Lastly, you'll have two exams, one midterm, one final. I did okay on those exams, and I think I saved about five to eight hours each, so plan to allocate some time for study. Okay, so what did I like about CS425? Well, sometimes the course will have too much content for no apparent reason. That wasn't the case with me for CS425. Although the course covers a ton of information, I feel that everything is valuable information for better understanding the fundamentals of cloud computing and distributed systems. I really enjoyed the programming assignments. While they were difficult and time consuming, you gotta build your own mock distributed system complete with messaging, membership, failure detection, which I thought really pulled the theory into practice. The professor I had for the course, Indy, which was really great and really understood the topic, was good at presenting the lectures in a digestible manner. All right, next up, what didn't I like about CS425? If you ask most people that took CS425 what they didn't like about the class, you'll probably hear people talk about the topics and questions covered in the exams. The exams are very long and time consuming, and some of the questions get pretty abstract where they meld together various concepts together to create one new theoretical example question. While it does pull all the concepts together, it's quite stressful to get everything finished, especially on a time exam. So the second thing I didn't like about the course was the weight that was put on the programming assignments. I think that the programming assignments should have had more weight than the four written homework assignments just because of the, lear the learnings that you had and the effort that goes into doing the assignments. And I feel like it kind of shows your expertise of the class more than those assignments and even the exams. So I wish that they had more weight on those programming assignments. All right, so last, what are my ratings and final thoughts on CS425? All right, so first up, we have the difficulty score. One being brain dead easy, 10 being near impossible. CS425 is quite reasonable difficulty for a 400 level graduate course, so I gave it a six out of 10. The next rating is the grading rating. So one being very punishing and almost a guaranteed sub A, and 10 is A's for days. CS425 grade is distributed across multiple components with the highest weights being on those four written assignments and the two exams. The grade is also curved at the end, so I give it a 7 out of 10 grading score. So the third rating 
is the time commitment rating, with one being you're going to have absolutely no free time outside of this course, and 10 is you'll have free time for weeks on end. In this class, each week you'll have something to work on, but nothing is too unreasonable, so I'd give it right down the middle of the road a 5 out of 10. So my final rating in the MCS classes is the utility or usefulness score. So one being, why would anyone want to learn this subject? To 10 being immediately useful at your job or a desirable skill for a new career. Whether you're going to work in the cloud or not, I think learning the fundamentals of distributed systems and cloud computing concepts is important for any software developer, regardless of the path you choose to go down. So with that, I would give this a 9 out of 10 useful score. If you're interested in the cloud track in the MCS program where you take the cloud computing capstone, I highly recommend CS425. I also recommend it if you're just trying to fulfill a breadth requirement. CS425 is a great course. If you're interested about learning more about the courses offered in the Illinois MCS program, please check out my short playlist on my reviews of the Illinois MCS courses. See you in there.